The Cinderella story or the anime story, whichever one you prefer, has come true for Team Spirit. The juggernaut PSG LGD loses out on another chance at winning it all at the International. They had a chance back at TI8 and now at TI10. The biggest mistake LGD made is probably not banning Magnus against Team Spirit. They were down 2-0 and in Game 3 they did counter Magnus and Game 4 they picked him up and won. But in Game 5 they left him for Team Spirit's choosing and went with their own Tiny and Light King draft that was on a timer because Team Spirit went with a late game draft. LGD tried all they can to grab pickoffs, but Team Spirit just read the map and took the fights on their own accord and withered LGD down. And the rest is history. But Spirit, they're gonna chase on. Slight chase, Armor, oh, he's gone. Two minutes, no tidy. Ancient exposed. Spirit, they'll make the walk over towards the Ancient. As they're they're not waiting for the creeps. They're ready to close it this time. Only two left. Can they stop a PSG LGD? I don't think they can. GQ's got it. It's over. It's GG. It's over. GG. They've got it. They have done it. Team Spirit. They come into the grand finals. Two games straight up. They take them away from PSG LGD. Game three and game four. PSG LGD. They hit back. But the game five. Even though they get knocked out in three and four. Spirit. They come back with the same skill and ability that's taken them to this whole road. To the grand finals. Streaming and people would ask me like, where do you think Team Spirit are gonna place? And I honestly said, on a good day, if everything goes their way, maybe top six. I never saw this coming, not in a million years. What, what an a, unbelievable performance. What a story, what a road, what a dream here that they've achieved. The Spirit now claim the ages. Ladies and gentlemen, your international tag champions Team Spirit. Team Spirit dropped to the lower bracket and went through Fnatic, OG, Virtus Pro, Invictus Gaming who knocked them down, Team Secret, and eventually PSG LGD. What an incredible story. There was also a lot of Dota 2 news. A new hero is coming this fall. Marcy from the Dota anime will make her debut sometime this fall. As we're already in the middle of fall, many speculation for Marcy's role could be carried. What do you think? Sticking with the Dota anime, Season 2 of Dota's Dragon's Blood will be coming in January 2022. Mark your calendars, there will be a lot of dragons. That's a lot of fucking dragons. Before the big roster movement begins in the upcoming weeks, Thunder Predator already announced that their players will be leaving the organization but will stick together. Thunder Predator went 0-16 in the group stages and earned the last spot and won 100,000 USD. Earlier in the week, after losing to OG, Quincy Crew's manager Jack KBBQ Chen announced that significant changes will be coming to the team. Players are looking to explore other opportunities. After the end of the international, their offlaner Rodrigo Lilas Santos announced he's leaving the team. In his tweet longer, he wrote, The team ending slash disbanding was something inevitable, at least in my eyes, since we granted for two years for TI and got a relatively bad placement. I am very proud and happy we managed to pull through and survive the groups and win our best of one. He ends by saying he will be streaming. Not sure if he'll join another team in the upcoming season, but best of luck to him. We'll end this episode here and we'll be back with all the roster movement. If you missed any of the actions, check out the International 10 playlist on this channel, all the way from the group stages to the final. Here's a clip from Mira Effie Riyad, who sums up what the past two years was like for Dota and everyone. Have a good one. And my closing thoughts are, 
even though the world changed a little bit, Dota didn't, you know? And we just, we all shared this experience together all over the world. And that was, it was wonderful, really.